back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this look. So many of you have been requesting me to do like the really quick 5-10 minute makeup look. If you're in a rush and you need to just run out the door but you still want to put on some makeup and look fresh faced and healthy and radiant looking, this is definitely my go-to look. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, I either go out with no makeup on and a complete bare face or I'm completely flawless looking after I film a tutorial or a video or something. But this is kind of like my in-between where I still look really nice and put together but it's kind of like my go-to glam very natural but not really natural makeup if you know what I mean so I love this look it's super super simple to recreate and do if you are a beginner this is gonna be perfect for you this took me about 15 minutes because I was talking through it so I can probably do this with no mirror and under 10 minutes it's so so simple once you see it you're gonna be like yes I can do that anyone can do this I promise and also remember if there's something I do in my tutorials that don't work for you or you find that the technique isn't something that you like you can always tweak them this is just kind of going off of what I do and show you guys what my routine but make sure you always remember that you can tweak them to your skin type or if you don't want to apply false lashes you don't have to do everything step by step keep that in mind this is just what I like to go for and the products that I love using so with that said if you want to see how to recreate this look then just keep on watching all right so the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my face like always this is a Sephora 8 hour mattifying moisture sunscreen I've talked about this in a couple of my tutorials and I love this it's super good because it's gonna mattify your face hydrate your face but also give yourself some sun protection so I love this stuff. I apply it every single time I do my makeup. Now for primer, I'm going to take the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. This is like a deluxe sample. I do have the full size now, but I'm just finishing up this one. I love this. It does have a little bit of a color tint to it, but this just really blurs out all of my pores. I'm just going to be putting that on at my T-zone and a little bit on my cheek area right here because this is where I have the largest pores and where I get the most oily. For foundation, I don't really like to use the typical full coverage foundation on an everyday basis. So what I love to use is the 8 Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC cream. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. It's very medium to full coverage. It's buildable. It feels very lightweight on the skin. So I love this. I'm actually almost out of this. It's so good. I'm in the color light. I just like to pump about one and a half pumps on the back of my hand. I will typically even use my fingers and just like kind of rub it on. But today I'm going to be using my sponge just because it's quick, easy method of application. I can do this so quickly with the sponge or even just applying it with my fingers. And it looks beautiful either way. See how well that just covers? I'm also going to take that on my eyelid, which is why I didn't do my brows yet because I didn't want to get any CC cream up in there. But this is going to be like our eye primer because I'm not going to be using an eye primer. And then for concealer, this does kind of conceal a little bit under my eyes, but I'm just going to go with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is my favorite from the drugstore. I'm not going to be applying too much because we're doing like a natural daytime everyday look. I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Technique sponge right under my eyes. Now to set everything for both my under eyes and my face, I'm just going to be taking the Kat Von D translucent powder. When I'm in a rush, I don't really like to use a separate powder for under my eyes versus my face. I just like to take whatever I'm going to be setting my eyes with to use on my face. And I've been loving this one. It's a really nice matte finish, but it gives your skin like a radiant glow, which I love. So I'm just going to be applying this all over my face with my Real Techniques little powder brush. And then again, going to that same powder, I'm just taking the contour brush from Real Techniques just to apply that a little bit more precisely under my eyes so the concealer doesn't go anywhere. So now that our base is on, this is actually the time I like to go in and apply the glue to my lashes. I get a lot of questions on whether I wear mascara every day or lashes every day. I have very sparse lashes, so it's actually a lot quicker for me to just pop on a pair of lashes and let the glue dry while I'm doing everything else rather than just sit there and like constantly paint my lashes with a bunch of coats of mascara. So I find this a lot easier for me. I'm going to be using the Ardell Glamour 113 today, which are very nice, natural, wispy lashes, so they're not going to look too overdone, but they give my lashes and my eyes just a pop of something because I don't really have much going on there by itself and we're really not going to be doing much on the eyes for eyeshadow anyway so these are a necessity for me. I'm going to be applying my House of Lashes Lash Adhesive which is the bomb.com. This stuff will not budge. Your eyelashes will stay on all day long so I'm going to be applying a little bit of this and then we're going to finish up the face. First thing I'm going to do is take my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I really like to add a little bit more definition and warmth to my face because we're looking a little bit one dimensional right now. I don't have time to contour on an everyday basis so what I love to do is take a pretty neutral color bronzer this one's amazing because it has a little bit of a warm undertone to it and a cool undertone to it so that's why I love using this one. It really adds warmth to my face but it also kind of creates a nice shape and contour so it has a little bit of that shadowness to it. I'm going to take it on my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and just apply it in like a three motion is the easiest way to apply bronzer when I'm in a rush. So it's going to get your temple right underneath your cheekbone and a little bit on your jawbone. 
Can you guys see just how nice and natural that color is? It looks like bronzer, but it also looks like contour too. And this formula is beautiful. It literally is like butter and it doesn't even look like powder on the skin. It just blends in beautifully. So we add a little bit more definition and depth to our face. Now I'm going to go in with blush because I like a little bit of a pop of color to my cheeks. This is the Smashbox Blush Rush in the color Flush. Kind of a tongue twister. But this is what the color looks like. It's a really pretty, nice, neutral baby pink. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it, so it's going to give your face a nice, healthy, natural glow, which I love for a natural day. It gives your face a bit of radiance and, like, luminosity and healthiness to it. So I'm going to be using that on my Morphe M142 brush. Just apply that right on the apples of the cheeks. This product is pretty pigmented, as you can see. It just gives, like, a really nice, healthy flush, which I love. Now, I cannot go a day without highlighting, so I like to pop on just a little bit. This is the Becca Champagne Pop Shimmery Skin Perfector, and I'm applying that with my A23 brush from Anastasia. Just applying a little bit of this. This is more of a natural highlight on me, even though it doesn't look like it, compared to some of the other highlighters in my collection. So I'm just going to be applying a little bit of that on the tops of my cheekbones, and this is really beautiful as well because there's not too much, like, glitter in here, so it looks very natural on the skin. Looks like you're lit from within, like everyone says, so I like to apply just a little bit of that give my face a little bit more of a glow. Even though I'm oily, I love looking healthy and luminous. So moving on to brows, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil. I'm in the color Chocolate. This thing is a lifesaver when you don't have that much time in the mornings because, as you can see, the applicator of it is a little bit of like a triangle. So it really just like applies the product beautifully and super, super quick. Not doing anything too intense, but just kind of filling them in, giving them a little bit more color and a little bit more structure as well. The only thing I really like to do for my eyes is actually take the bronzer I was wearing, which was the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula, and I'm taking that on a Morphe MB23 brush. It's just like a really nice fluffy transition brush. So all I'm really doing is applying a little bit of this in my crease to give my eye a little bit more dimension. And I like using the bronzer because it's just super simple. I already had it out. I'm already using it. And this is really all I do on my eyes, and then I apply the lashes. To quickly highlight my brow bone and inner corner, again, I'm taking the same product I used on my cheekbones, Champagne Pop by Becca and applying that on my inner corners to kind of give my eye a little bit more of an awake feeling. And I apply that right underneath my brow bone. You can see it just gives that nice little illumination and highlight, which I love. So next I'm going to be applying a little bit of mascara. I'm not going to be doing too much since I am going to be applying false lashes. So I'm just going to be popping on some Roller Lash by Benefit. So you can totally leave it like this if you want to and if that's what you're comfortable with. Again, I like to have a little bit more emphasis on my eyes, have a little bit more definition and drama, so I am going to be applying my lashes. Again, these are the Ardell Glamour 113s. They're some of my favorite lashes from the drugstore and they're super, super natural looking. So for lips, I like to take something that's super simple, something easy I can just toss in my bag and reapply without even thinking about it or having a mirror on me. So I love to use the NYX Butter Glosses. I love a good glossy lip, so these are perfect for me, and I'm using the color Eclair, which is one of my favorites. Just a really nice baby pink. I love these. So if you're someone like me who absolutely has to set their face because they're either oily or they want their makeup to last all day long, which is kind of what I want to do. I don't want to have to blot during the day. So I love going with the setting spray. This is my favorite one. It is by Urban Decay. It's their all-nighter setting spray. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you all really enjoyed it, and I hope you all found it helpful or informative. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already, so you always get notified when I upload a video. I love you all. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!